Welcome to today's five good minutes. You're listening to today's inspirational message on the book of Jonah with Kurt Bjorklund. Today we begin a journey through the book of Jonah, four weeks, a week in each chapter. And to begin, let me just tell you a story. A few years ago, my family and I traveled out west to visit a couple of the iconic national parks. And one day, we decided to go on a fairly large and ambitious hike. And so it began with uh, climbing uh, a fairly good ascent to get to a peak. And at a certain point on the hike, we realized that we didn't probably pack enough water And so we were trying to conserve water, and we realized that the hike was longer and harder than we probably anticipated. And I remember distinctly talking about whether or not we should abandon our plan and turn around and go back, or if we should go all the way to the peak and then back down. And certainly, in that scenario, you could say it may have been wise to turn around and go back down. And there are times to abort plans that that you're planning on because of the way that things are working out. But as we stood there at that choice, there was either go forward toward the goal or turn around and go back the other way away from it. And in a sense, this is what the book of Jonah is about. Jonah is called by God to go to Nineveh and preach against it, we're told. This is how it begins. Uh, Verse 1 of chapter 1. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, the great city, and call out against it, for their evil has come up before me. But Jonah rose to flee to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare and went down into it to go with them to Tarshish, away from the presence of the Lord. Now, there are a whole lot of things happening just in these couple of verses, but the most overarching thing is Jonah stands here and instead of going to Nineveh, which was one direction, he went completely the other direction because Joppa is the other direction. We don't actually know exactly what Tarshish is or where it is, uh, but it's repeated three times here to kind of underscore that Jonah was going the other way. It it was probably some kind of distant coastland in the Western Mediterranean, but clearly the opposite direction. And he went there to get away from the presence of the Lord. And the word presence here means the face of the Lord. And this is a choice that, that, that we get throughout life in so many little scenarios day after day after day. It's usually not this large one-time decision like it was for Jonah. It's usually a hundred little choices over the course of a week or a month, a thousand choices over a year. Will I trust God and go his way or will I go my way? Will I reject the way that God wants me to go? And so that is the overarching choice. And notice what we see here. The way that Jonah chose, the author says that he went down to Joppa. Now, that is something that we don't know for sure where he was coming from. So it may have been simply a geographical um, statement and Joppa truly was at the coastland. So anywhere in the country, you'd go down to it. But I think it's also a little bit of a literary device here where he's saying, When you run from the presence of the Lord, it's always down. And then notice that it says, he paid the fare. Whenever we run from the presence of God, it's always down and we always pay the fare. And this is something I've seen over and over as a pastor. When people stand at these choices, whether it be to honor God in their marriage or to run from it, to honor God in their business or to run from it, to honor God with their money or to run from it. When they choose to say, I'm going my own way from the presence of the Lord, it's down and there's a cost. So we will see in these coming chapters in chapter one, God deals with the self-will of Jonah in chapter two, the self-reliance in chapter three, the self-interest and in chapter four, the self-rationalization or justification. But today, my question for you is simply, are you 
choosing to go toward the revealed word and truth of God or to go your own way. Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day.